We have 500 days to avoid the climate chaos. The 2019 flood event taking place along the Mississippi River is far from over. But in many locations above St. Louis, the worst may finally be over. A coalition of mayors who preside along one of the longest rivers in North America say the damage total is likely to be more than $2 billion. The total comes from losses in farming, manufacturing, and navigation. The Mississippi River Cities and Towns Initiative released a report this week. The worst damage was seen from Davenport, Iowa to central Louisiana. More water has passed under the Vicksburg Mississippi River Bridge than the floods of 2008 and 11 combined. The flood season began as heavy snowmelt from as far away as Montana and Pennsylvania started flowing towards Big Muddy. The amount of time communities were above flood stage approached 200 days as heavy spring rains exacerbated the situation in the planet's third largest watershed. This prolonged event has lasted longer than the great flood of 1927. Well, in a normal year, we would see the river rise uh, in the springtime, but this year we had a strong rise in the river in December of this past year. So we've basically been at flood stage on the Mississippi River since December of 2018. This levee breach in Davenport came in late April. Continued spring rains delayed the river opening to navigation. As barge and tow traffic resumed, other long-term ecological impacts have been uncovered. The latest has fishermen struggling with their oyster catch, as the amount of salinity in the water has become an inconsistent environment for growth. Several states in the middle of the region have experienced the wettest 12-month period on record. A few locations have exceeded the record measurements established during the flood of 1993. The Mississippi River has been running high for months, and though it hasn't overtopped the levee, water from the river is soaking through the soil in Arkansas's Delta, flooding thousands of acres. In Phillips County, Kenny Holt has several thousand acres of cropland affected by this seep water, or water that comes up through the ground when the river is high and unable to drain because there's no place for it to go. This has resulted in Holt losing much of his crop production this year. Uh, got 4,000 acres in production. Uh, probably got 1,700 acres that uh, we feel like probably is not going to be planted this year. Uh, we should have soybeans knee to waist high in this, in this whole area. This year, the seep water, e even when the rain quit, when the river rises, the seep water shows up. You, you can't till the fields. Uh, a lot of sprays don't work because of the plants standing in water. Normally when the river falls, it sounds silly, but the seep water will get worse. And I don't know what causes that, but when it starts dropping, especially if it drops fast, the seep water will increase. So it's our, our biggest hindrance of getting a crop in here, besides the rain, is seep water. Uh, we've seen seep water in Phillips County above here in places that we hadn't seen seep water before. Uh, a mile to a mile and a half away from the levee. Everybody that I know, you know, and they throw up to me that they've got a thousand acres that's underwater or seep water's affected in South Phillips County. I, I wouldn't be surprised if 40,000 acres is, is a low figure. Uh, we got all the area around Big Creek, uh, all up and down the Mississippi River. Everybody that I know, very, very few people do you know that doesn't have at least 500 acres that's, that's underwater and that's, that's not gonna be in production. So we're just kind of at the mercy of the Mississippi River, see what happens. Uh, all, all we can do is sit back and hope that that it gets on out of here without causing any more damage. I mean, we are we know we're not gonna have a lot of crop planted, but uh, we hope the water doesn't get any deeper to destroy any more property.